Hello, beautiful people. Um, it's almost been four years since I created this channel. I created this channel in 2018 to the later end in October and to the later in 2022, it will actually be officially four years. But it's surprising that it's almost four years since I had this channel. And I think about like things that have happened within those four years. So from the start of 2018, the only reason why I created the channel was because I had like, like severe depression dealing with this odor condition. I already had it for like 10 plus years and I just needed some channel to vent. So I did that and I was working as some, as a web designer for some bumfuck company. Um, 2019, I quit that, I quit it because be, at that point, um, the, the boss's wife was telling, was tell, I was overhearing the boss's wife saying to the boss to uh, fire me and all this other stuff. So I quit that job. And then in, in 2019, since I was quitting a job, I was trying to find a developer job. I couldn't find any. So then I settled into security jobs, actually two security jobs within 2019. I tried to get an internship for a web developer that would eventually turn into a full-time job that didn't go through in 2019. So then I made the decision to pivot into try to become a truck driver, if anyone remembers that. I, I'm pretty sure you don't. Um, but that happened from 2019 to 2020. I was trying to pursue to get a, a license and I actually got a license, which was a class B license. And I got that in 20, early of 2020 before COVID. And, but at the same time, when I actually went to try to find jobs, I realized uh, most people who are trying to get truck drivers are trying to get class A truck drivers and had a class B truck drive, uh, class B license. And at the same time, I didn't have the ability to, um, they also demanded that you were bilingual, which I'm not. So when that happened, 2020, COVID kicks off, um, a lot of stuff shut down. I had to go into, uh, I had to find some jobs real quick. So I found a security job, but that security job involved me going to Aldi supermarket and standing in front of, standing in front of the store, wiping down shopping carts in a hot ass sun for eight hours a day. And I got a lot of reactions. It was in a good time. Quit that job in like three weeks. Then I went to some type of remote job, like some customer service related job where I was working at Instacart. But all throughout the time, I was just still trying to apply to jobs. And toward the later end of 2020, I got a, finally got a web developer job after like fucking two years. And it was a living wage, which I was trying to get for my 20s, through all throughout my 20s. And I finally got it at the age of 30. So in 2021, I was still working at this French web developer company. Um, and then eventually toward the later end, when like the whole web developer team starts to collapse, people just stop showing up at work. I moved on to a remote job. So now I'm in a re remote job for, you know, 2021 to 2022. And it's pretty, it's pretty, it's, it's great. I don't really have to deal with anything, but there was a lot of stuff that just happened within those four years. And I haven't really talked about the channel, how within these four years, there's almost like 40 different interviews I have of people talking about whether, whether they have holitosis or PATM or TMAO or something similar to TMAO because we, a lot of us don't know for a fact. And I find that so impressive. And another thing I was always just curious about is, you know, the people that I possibly interviewed, I wonder what happened to them. Have they improved in some fashion? Have they, what, what, what transpired in their lives within the, from 2018 to 2022? I was, I was, I was, this is another reason why I wanted to make this video. I was curious if anyone still watched to possibly chime in. And then I wanted to ask like, you know, for subscribers, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure most of you uh, haven't started at 2018 because there's only like five subscribers or something like that. But within 2018 to 2022, what happened in your lives? Did anything get better, worse, stayed the same? I find it funny or interesting that, you know, having this channel and stuff and learning about Mebo, you know, there barely is any type of breakthrough or new treatments that come out. Uh, within within the last four years. I know there was supposed to be some type of medication from some heart doctor that's supposed to suppress TMA. 
What happened to that? You know, if anybody knows what, I, what I'm talking about, I forgot the name of the guy, um, but I'm pretty sure nothing's happening in that department either. But yeah, I was just, I was just, it's almost four years. I was just curious to hear anybody's input of what happened within 2018 to 2022. And has anything progressed further in your life or regressed? I don't know. That's it. See you later.